Alert, Trump issues urgent warning, senior citizens most affected. Senior citizens could be negatively affected by Democrats in the Senate refusing to do their job and work with the president. According to the Washington Times, two top Democrats boycotted a meeting with President Trump stating he was a destructive force and wouldn't negotiate with them on upcoming legislation after a tweet he sent out. President Trump fired back, calling them petty and saying they need to focus on what's important, avoiding a government shutdown. Congress has been embroiled in debate and finger-pointing as Republicans and Democrats try to come to terms with the U.S. budget while wrangling political agendas through, such as immigration reform, tax reform, funding for the military, and a number of other concerns. A meeting was scheduled with President Trump and top Democrats, Senate Minority Leader Charles E. Schumer, DNY, and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, DCA along with Republican leaders. Citing Democrats' stiff resistance to many other issues and inability to compromise, President Trump made a prediction about the meeting on Twitter. In a tweet on Tuesday, he said, Problem is they want illegal immigrants flooding into our country unchecked, are weak on crime and want to substantially raise taxes. I don't see a deal. Mr. Schumer and Mrs. Pelosi apparently took offense to the tweet and refused to show up to the meeting. They claim the tweet showed President Trump was a destructive force and it was impossible to negotiate with him. Some Republicans believe the move was an attempt by Democrats to cause infighting between Republicans and President Trump. Rather than turn on the president, the GOP called out Democrats for their political stunt. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Arkey, said he would have never boycotted a meeting with President Obama and that Democrats have a lack of seriousness. While speaking with reporters, he said, you'll have to ask them why they think it's appropriate to refuse to meet with the President of the United States over something as significant as how we're going to fund the troops and all the other needs. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says President Trump is still willing to work with Democrats, but they need to be mature about it. The president's invitation to the Democrat leaders still stands and he encourages them to put aside their pettiness stop the political grandstanding, show up and get to work. These issues are too important, she said. According to Fox News, President Trump decided to proceed with the meeting anyway, speaking with Republican leaders in Congress. After the meeting, he sat between the two empty seats meant for the Democrat leaders and told reporters Democrats have been all talk and no action. He continued, pointing out that their behavior has worsened, and now, it's even worse. Now it's not even talk. So they're not showing up for the meeting. In a joint statement, Mr. McConnell and Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, R. Wynn, criticized Democrats, we have important work to do, and Democratic leaders have continually found new excuses not to meet with the administration to discuss these issues. They stated that if Democrats want to reach a bipartisan consensus on important issues, they will be there. Democrats' boycott of the meeting seemed to be nothing more than grandstanding to impress their constituents and send a message that they do not see President Trump as a legitimately appointed leader. Instead of giving Republicans an excuse to turn on each other or criticize the president, they have seemingly united the GOP in recognizing Democrats are the ones causing problems. If a government shutdown occurs, it won't be because of Republican infighting, it will be because Democrats turned up their nose to a duly elected president in an attempt to score political points. Points.